Hello everybody, my name is Dietrich. Today I'll be showing you the Fluval all-in-one CO2 system that's perfect for your small planted aquariums. The Fluval CO2 system is made up of four different parts. The first part is the regulator. So the regulator is this guy here, and it's just what you use to regulate the amount of CO2 that comes out of the canister. The second part that we're gonna look at is the canister itself. So the canister sits in this multi-purpose base, which can either be a freestanding, or it can also hook onto the side of your tank if you have a rimless aquarium. There's two different sizes of these canisters. They come in a 45 gram and a 90 gram cylinder. The next part is the two-in-one bubble counter and check valve. This is how you monitor how much CO2 is being released into your planted aquarium. And finally, we have the CO2 diffuser. The CO2 diffuser creates very fine micro bubbles so that the CO2 is dissolved at optimal amount into the water. Column. Once you've removed your CO2 kit from the box, you notice you have all four pieces along with some silicone tubing that comes with it. We'll utilize the silicone tubing a little bit later in the video. So we're going to start by attaching the canister onto the regulator. So when you're doing that, you want to make sure you have a good firm grip just because obviously there is compressed air in here and you would not want that to get away from you. Basically screw it in until it's hand tight. You don't have to worry about cranking on it or anything like that. Once it's hand tight, it should be good. Next off, we're going to grab some of our silicone tubing. So there's a little nut that's just on the side of the regulator. You're going to want to take that completely off and just slip it over the end of the silicone tubing, just like so. Once you do this, there is a small nipple just on the side of the regulator. You're just going to attach the tubing onto that just so it looks like this. Take this nut again and just tighten it on there. Again, just hand tight is fine. You don't need to crank on it. The next step is we're going to add in the two-in-one bubble counter and check valve. So I've already pre-measured how much tubing I want between my regulator and the bubble counter. I'm just going to cut the tubing there. And then just like you did with the nut on the regulator, these little plastic nuts, they come all the way off. So you're going to want to unscrew those. Now I've already pre-filled this bubble counter up with RO water. You can can use just tank water, but RO water is better. When you're putting this on, same idea, slip the plastic nut onto the tubing first. There is an input and an output to the bubble counter. The input is the one that has the long stem going down into the unit. The output will just be on the other side that does not have any extension coming down from it. So now we're just going to attach it on there, just to make sure it's nice and secure onto the nipple before screwing down the nut. And then just do the same to the other side. This side of tubing is going to be the side that attaches from the bubble counter onto the diffusing disc. So again, just from the regulator to the bubble counter, and then this end is going to be going to the diffuser. This one's pretty easy, just the last end of the tubing goes onto the nipple that's there. Again, just make sure it's nice and secure. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. All right, so here we have the completed CO2 system set up. We have the regulator leading into the bubble counter, leading into the diffuser. Now we're just gonna hang the regulator onto the side of the tank. Like I said earlier, this one can be used in two different ways. It can either be used on a flat surface, or if you do have a rimless tank like this tank here, you can just hang it off the side. Next, we're gonna attach the bubble counter. So this one can be used either inside or outside of the aquarium. For the purpose of this video, we will be putting it on the outside of the aquarium. Last, we put the CO2 diffuser inside of the aquarium. The last thing we have to do is just to turn it on. Oh, there it goes. So this here is the bubble counter. The bubble counter is how you regulate the amount of CO2 actually going into the system. You usually want about one to two bubbles per second to give you the proper CO2 diffusion rate. When you hook up a CO2 system to your tank, you will notice a crazy amount of growth in all of your plants, even within the first couple weeks. 